We might not live by bread alone, but has there really been a thing greater than sliced bread? You followed a breadcrumb trail towards us. On a mangé plus d'un pain, which feels to us like you've cast your bread upon the waters. You can count on us to know which side our bread is buttered on. Good evening and welcome to With Bread. As you've probably already gathered, this performance will involve the handling of uh, food, mostly flour and a few uh, spices. In one hour and 45 minutes, this performance will end. You will leave through those doors. After you leave, we'll take a short break. Then we'll begin tidying up, washing up, and packing away. Here, you will be one of us. Here, you will be us. Here, we will be one of you. Here, we will be you. Here, together, we begin. Here, together, we begin to change. Here, together, we begin to transform. We are the people with whom we eat. Good evening, my name is Leo Bertin and I am a theatre chef. It seems to fit, doesn't it? This evening is about a group of people gathered in Stockton on Tees on the 20th of March, 2019. This evening we are going to share a few stories with you. They begin to provide clues for how we, those of us standing on this stage this evening, came to be here. They begin to provide clues as to how bread rose to such prominence in our shared culture. Our story tonight is history. It begins in the 1990s in a small town in the northeast of France. My mother would drive to the village in the morning to pick up bread. On the way home, the fragrant bread wrapped in brown paper was entrusted to me still warm. There was always somewhere on the crust to get started, some curled up edge begging to be broken off. Watching my mother in the rear view mirror, I chewed only when her eyes were on the road. It's morning, late August, and the heat is still gentle on your skin. Jack Allen reaches into the pocket of his vest and pulls out a small silver watch on the chain. Because, I mean, obviously that's how scientists get time in this version of history. You don't have long until the sun is at its peak and the heat not so gentle anymore. So in half an hour, and without any tools other than your own bare hands, 
you could, perhaps a little uncomfortably, gather about a kilo or two pounds or so worth of raw cereal. So you still need to process it, even that really rapid harvest that you had. You still need to process it to make it fit for human consumption. You have to help it along the way with a kind of ancient transformative magic. One that most of us practice every day and think of as completely banal cooking. This show involves stories of migration, and everyone that makes up the company of people who've made their show are migrants of one kind or another. When Emma was a baby, I used to be very quiet in the house. So if you're my neighbor, all you could hear is a baby crying. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she'll be, you know, maybe when she's hungry or whatever, I will just touch her, but not communicate because I, I didn't know I, I didn't I didn't know how to do it first of all when I came to England I lived in big cities I didn't have big communities around me but in Stockton here I developed such relationships I became part of like a nice community and I find this like heartwarming <laughs> and I'm really glad glad and grateful for uh, making me part of this show that's only because I'm an educated person. I have studied my country, Basel, in sociology, and I have studied abroad in India, masters in sociology as well. In my country, I was a social worker and teacher together, just we can say, to, not together, actually separate in different years. More than 10 years, I was a social worker. I have got many experiences in my field, which is a social worker, and I have got many skills in that field as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the bread that we've been making tonight is a fast bread. It's a bread that travels really well, and it doesn't need very much of your time or effort. You can call it pazi, chapati, tortilla, depending on your choice of flour, liquid, and fat. When this performance began, we had some flour, some water, a few other ingredients. We had a few things to say. And in the time that we spent together, there was a transformation from grain to flour to food. From next to nothing, we are now with bread. Come, panes. Companions. And I think this kind of transformation calls for celebration. Me cambiaré cambiando y a desenfondo del revés. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. This was the first ever time uh, we performed this. You've attended the official world premiere of With Bread. Je ne te dirai pas l'absence de cette moitié de moi qui est morte et puis qui danse. Tour d'un grand feu sans joie.